Well, when we think about where our church gathers every single week, you know, you have to ask the question, have we ever tried to reach the people that drive by our church campus every single day and see the three big crosses, but have never like stepped foot into our building or maybe even interacted with anyone that's a part of our church? And when we were looking at ways to get involved in our city, we realized this school, Dexter K-8 school, is the access point to hundreds and really thousands of families. So it really started out in, in one of the most simplest ways of, hey, we came in and we were doing landscaping, we were doing mulching, but it really opened up the door for us to have trust uh, with the school. Our middle school team has like always been very involved with schools like Arlington Middle School, Lakeland Middle School, and others. But we really felt burdened with our own community right here in our backyard. Doing sports, games, fun activities, snacks and lunch, and then also the most important thing, they get to hear the good news of the gospel. We originally started Dexter Day as kind of just an opportunity to build out our JLM and BLM projects. We started to notice that out of our Dexter Day, we were building connection with students and teachers that we weren't getting in our one-on-one -on -one settings, in our settings with the school. It definitely is going to impact their motivation to wanting to do great things and continue on their path to success. It gives them the reason to kind of want to be at school and look forward to opportunities of being in a different environment. My experience has been so great. We've got to make some bracelets. I got to actually sit down and have meaningful conversations with them, share some personal stories. It's been amazing. They know our faces now. I can walk into the school and instead of you just seeing a face that you're kind of like, hey, I kind of know your name, and I've seen you around, it's a relationship. Since partnering with Dexter, really just our view on what it means to minister to local schools has shifted. The idea of what a partnership with local schools looks like has changed and have gone way beyond just that initial relationship and have truly pursued us as well. And so I think of teachers that have reached out to me and asked, how can I be praying for you? The relationships are being formed and that it's opening doors for us to be able to have deeper gospel conversations and not just a surface level. Hey, what needs do you guys have right now? Because those are awesome and those are conversations that get us started and what we would say is entry. But that opens the door for us to be able to go deeper and to be able to really invest in the lives of the people that we're connecting with. And it's so easy for us to think of a school as an institution, but in that school are people. People that are made in the image of God, people who are in sin and that need to hear the gospel. And so when we look at the partnership with Dexter, it's really a communication between us and them of, hey, these are the needs that our students are experiencing. Some of them are lonely. Some of them are going through difficult times. Some of them need school uniforms and school supplies. Some of them need tutors because they're not quite getting the reading levels. The school helps us with the, the opportunity of really engaging and ministering our city and opening up a door that probably wouldn't normally be open. But then we also have various times where we're going and we're serving teacher appreciation meals, or we're going and we're dropping off cookies or writing them notes of encouragement and being creative with the ways of saying, hey, we as a church love you and Jesus loves you. Serving at Dexter can be something that opens the eyes of people to just things that maybe they didn't realize were so close to where our church meets. For people that might be apprehensive or think that this is something that they're totally not equipped for or might think, well, someone else will do that. It reminds me of the story of Moses and how he did not want to say yes and he just felt so unequipped. He didn't know what to do and really wanted for the Lord to choose someone else. But all that the Lord needed was his yes on the table. I think we underestimate what the Lord can do with just our obedience to say yes. You know, for us, what I'm hoping to see is that one day when we go to Dexter K-8 school, we see not families that we don't know, but families that we know because they're a part of our church, because we started out with the Dexter Day and they came and visited and they felt comfortable, they felt loved by our church, they heard the gospel, they gave their life to Jesus, and now they are in that school being faithful witnesses amongst their friends and their community.